Hello students, I'm going to teach you about a fantastic math tool called the number rack. This is a tool that you will see and use a lot in our new math curriculum. It's an awesome tool to help us take apart and put numbers back together in lots of different ways. So this is the starting position for the number rack. We can remember it as white on right and the stars in the sky. So as you can see, there are 10 beads in the top row and 10 beads on the bottom row. Five of the beads are red and five of the beads are white. So I can see 10 as a whole row pushed over, or I could also see 10 as being five reds on the top or five reds on the bottom. The number rack is such a great tool because it helps us use our friendly numbers of five and 10. And friendly numbers are the numbers that are easier for us to skip, count, add, and subtract with. So when I use the number rack, my goal is to learn to use it without counting by ones. Instead, I want to move or count the beads in groups. So for example, when I wanna see or make six, I can see that there are five reds plus one white. Instead of counting one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm gonna try to make my six in as few pushes as possible. So here's my six that I pushed over. I also might know that this is six because I see six beads here and four more on this side, and I know six plus four makes 10. Knowing my combinations to 10 and 20 really helps me become automatic and fluent with my addition and subtraction facts. So let's practice. I'm gonna push some beads over, and I want you to try to figure out how many beads that you see. Remember, try to use the colors to help you see the groups rather than counting each bead. Turn and tell your neighbor how many beads you see. Are you ready? If you said 15, you are right. I can see this in many different ways. I might know that this is 15 because I know a double fact. I know seven plus seven is 14 and one more makes 15. I could also look at that and know that it's 15 because I see 10 red beads and five white beads. And that's another way to see 15. I can also use my number rack to compare numbers. So for example, if I need to find the difference between nine and two, I can look and see that these are the same, but there are seven more. So nine is seven more than two. Another example would be if I pushed 13 beads, so I'm gonna push 10 beads and three more. There's my 13. And I could, I could ask how many are hiding to make 20. So I know that there are seven beads that are hiding because 13 plus seven is 20. Another way to use the number rack is with subtraction. So for example, if my problem is 13 minus seven, I could build 13 as 10 plus three more, and then I can take seven beads away. Here's my seven beads that I'm pushing away, five and two more. So I can quickly see that there are six beads left without needing to count back by ones. And that's much more efficient, which is our goal. I could also build 13 in a different way. I could build 13 as seven on the top and six on the bottom. There's using that double fact again. Six plus six is 12 and one more is 13. And then it's very easy for me to push my seven beads back because there's seven and I can quickly see that there are six left. The last example that I want to show you using the number rack would be to model with a story problem. So here's my example. I bought some apples for my friends. I gave away five apples and I still had seven left. How many did I start with? So I know when I write an equation for that problem that I don't know how many apples I started with, but I know that I gave five away and I have seven left. So I can use my number rack to model this problem. Here's the five beads. I can show my five apples that I gave to my friends and I can use seven beads to represent my seven apples that I have left and then I can see 
that my total I started with are 12. Here's five and five and two more to make 12. So I hope this gives you a quick overview of how to use the number rack as a tool to solve all different kinds of math problems.